way down. Okay. Hit the gas. Now just let it go. things that makes the Corvette uh, practical is that it has two trunks one is called a frunk and then on the rear where the engine goes there's another one so we're gonna experiment with this all right so let's You know what? I don't think this is a good idea. And I try to put it in the back and as we could see, uh, we have a problem. So the C8 Corvette isn't as practical as I thought it would be. All right, so no trip will officially begin without its hesitations and its problems and as you guys just saw we uh, we try to fit this huge bag into the front and the trunk and it wouldn't fit so I guess we have a plan B babe. what do you think he didn't listen to it. well you didn't you just said it now oh look we, look we found a hat so look this is a good sign we found a hat two hats actually so because of him we have to go through this struggle. Why don't men ever listen to their women? You guys could only imagine if this is for a three or two day trip. It's a woman. Imagine a one. Oh yeah, there's your stuff too. It's not gonna close. Boy, never mind. All right, so finally off we go after quite some time. So we're about to head out uh, Key West. Here we come. Another C8. We made a quick stop here at McDonald's for a bathroom break. Uh, so far, the drive has been pretty good, I must say. Um, I really like this car. I mean, we've been cruising around 40 something miles per hour. This car is fantastic, guys. So let's talk a little bit about this interior now that, that we stop. The interior of this car, it's beautiful. It, it truly is a work of art. Uh, Chevy spent a lot of time and you can tell you can tell uh, they say one thing if it looks like metal it is metal and uh, here for example these Bulls performance series this 100% metal the stitch on the door everything is leather wrap uh, in the interior I got one small not so much complaint but kind of a complaint the resolution of the Apple CarPlay this looks uh, like one of those cheaper tablets and also the display size for 2022 model it's, it, it is very small now granted this is a small car so I mean, putting a big screen I think it will be a little bit distracting but just to note it is on the smaller side so keep that in mind also the resolution isn't really the best uh, one thing that got me a little bit that was like weird out the beginning was this camera on the back and you know you get used to it but in the beginning you're like wait a second but they had to do it because the visibility was really bad with the with the two glasses and honestly it 
helps out a ton because you can see a lot the resolution actually is really good it's really crisp for that camera now the reverse camera isn't uh, so great but it's not that bad uh, to be honest uh, this car has the optional uh, camera up front and uh, you know one thing that helps with this interior is also that you have blind spot monitoring because you do have a lot of uh, blind spots on this car So let me give a quick update uh, right now we're crossing the seven mile bridge in the keys if you don't know it's actually it's actually a bridge that goes across the ocean for seven miles here on the keys and it's just breathtaking the views that you get with this uh, with this bridge because you're actually going over ocean We made our first pit stop here um, to actually just enjoy, you know, use the bathroom, you know, stop eating or nothing. And uh, that this car has been nothing short of amazing, to be honest. And we're just enjoying the heck out of this car. So you can see the ocean. Uh, it just looks beautiful out here. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Oh my god, look at that water down there. It looks amazing. Push the button. Very nice. Oh, it feels very, very uh, premium. This is definitely metal. Like the, the paddles, and they feel really good. Like the click. I don't know if you can hear that. Also, I love this that from some angles you can see actually the Chevy Corvette um, logo. Uh, one thing that is cool is the seat. Button. So if we press this button, the car automatically goes to the steering, the engine, and you could actually customize to your CMO preference. So how do you want your steering feel, your engine shift, and all those parameters are controlled by the CMO. So now we're... I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, sounds so good, that LT2. Oh my God. So one thing that I haven't discussed with you guys so far is the power that this car makes. I previously said that it makes 495 horsepower and just the acceleration of this car, it, it's pretty much breathtaking. Let me just demonstrate to you guys. How does that feel? That was just a little bit. That wasn't even launching the car. That was just from a rolling star. But just the acceleration of this car, it's just nuts. And, and that wasn't even with the nannies turned off or anything. All right guys, we just officially just made it to Key West. How does it feel to be finally in Key West? Finally. So we're 10 minutes away from the hotel and uh, just using the paddle, so I'm gonna put it in ammo because like sauce so, sounds so good. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it just sounds great. It's only 30 miles of speed limit here, but oh my god, that push, that push because this car, because you have the engine on the rear, it's not pulling you like the Cobra per se, it's pushing you. Different feeling, also the way that it handles. It's just different and we got a we got a vent a C7 coming up right now. A nice C7. Give you
you a tour of the room because why not? Uh, so as we're walking in, we got two TVs, so one here, one here. It's our anniversary, so we're celebrating five years, so it's a little uh, detail, real roses. This place is awesome. Look at these lamps. This place, it's cool. And we have here a closet. Open that up. Pretty nice place. This bathroom looks awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, this looks like real marble. Amazing. Oh. Look at this shower. Like, this shower looks... Oh, my God. Look at this shower. Right here. Toilet. Private. So, here is the fridge. I'm not kidding. Here, let me just... So that is the fridge right there. Pretty cool. We got some chocolates right here. And this place looks cool. Let me show you. I haven't shown you the pool. I'm pretty sure you guys seen it from the beginning shot. So we have our own private pool. So our room has its own private pool. Isn't that cool? This place is awesome. A little bit overshadowed today, but. Another day, rainy. <laughs> we just uh, made it to IHOP. This IHOP is very cool because we're literally right next to the ocean. So, ocean is right there. Look at this. <laughs> So we got food. This is how the food looks and I hop and we got pancakes right there. I don't know if I'll be able to handle those but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Alright, so we just parked right next to the ocean and it is time for us to remove the roof for the first time. So it's gonna be interesting. Are you ready? Because you gotta help. First time removing the roof off the back. There you go. We just removed the roof of the vet and Ooh, you look good. First gear. Yeah, you could definitely hear more the car. So I heard that this car is without the convertible. There's a lot of wind buffeting on this cabin. So we're gonna test that and uh, I'll let you know. So far, we're doing 30 miles per hour. It just seems fine. I believe the issue is when, once you get above like 50, 60 miles per hour. So as you guys can see, we're picking up today, and uh, today it's honestly a beautiful, beautiful day. Mr. Terminator.
hours and 30 minutes to go. So in the last 50 miles is showing that we've done 30 miles per, uh, per gallon. But that is mainly because we've been uh, right here just paddling around the city. Um, but the best, as you can see, was 27.7. And I got to a point where I saw 25. Matter of fact, we're gonna see, we're gonna test that out. Cannot believe that this is the first try for GM for a mid-engine supercar. This is truly, truly a bargain of a car at a starting MSRP of around sixty-two thousand dollars. I cannot believe that this car exists, and driving this car for the past three days has given me a greater appreciation of this car. I mean, look, this car looks and feels like a supercar. If you don't like attention, do not purchase this car. This car is gonna get so much attention, I just couldn't believe it. Down in Key West, everyone had to do with this car. I was getting thumbs up, people just signaling me, and, and it's just crazy. The looks that you get with this car is just insane. And from the inside, the good news is that this car feels special. And here are a few, few of the touches of this car. Positive, we got carbon fiber on the seats I mean just take a look at this interior I'm sitting here on the passenger side let me just close the door and even from the passenger side this thing looks and feels premium I mean this is such a big step up a huge step up from the C7 Corvette that is I cannot believe that this is indeed a, a Corvette one of the things that I was really impressed by this car was its engineering. None of the vents that you see on this car are fake. For example, let me just point out here a little bit of the engineering of this car. Right here, that's the radiator. In fact, there's two radiators for this car. One here and one on the driver's side. So passenger and driver, they both get a vent. Also, down here, we have ducts. And those ducts are for the front brakes. Speaking about brakes, when you go C51, you're gonna get the C51 logo right there. You're gonna get bigger rotors up front, I believe 13.5, better brake pads and more bike power from these brakes. Also, you're gonna get the C51 suspension, that rear hatch. We take a look at the LT2 engine. And one of the things that Chevy could really do now that the engine was moved to the back was have a bigger intake manifold and for the first time we have equal length runners for the intake manifold so what that means is that this car could actually breathe better this intake manifold was something that they wanted to do also with the headers coming up see normally in corvettes in other front engine cars always the headers have to go down now if you notice the exhaust manifolds they come up so that also allowed the car to free up some horsepower also because the engine is down the back we get a better drivetrain loss so normally for front for cars with the engines up the front you got uh, the engine the transmission then you got a drive shaft then you got the rear differential so you get around 18 to 20 percent drivetrain loss now because the engine of the chevy corvette was moved to the back with the transmission and the real axle right here i believe the drivetrain loss so from what i've read it's around 12% or something so that is something to consider not only the engine makes more power you have less drivetrain loss getting to the rear wheel so that is pretty cool about the mid-engine setup in this car also those vents that you see right there they're 100% functional and that is to uh, 
have hot air after they come through the coolers that hot air and the heat comes out here speaking about radiators when you go c51 you get an extra radiator for track use and it's gonna sit right here on the back of this car so extra cooling for more track time and more performance so pretty awesome engineering went into this car obviously we all know the newest the co6 came out with this new 5.5 liter 670 horsepower but i just want to make an emphasis this base car is nothing to sneeze at this is indeed a great platform and a great engine believe it or not it sounds really good it crackles it pops and with an 11 to 5 compression ratio this thing it erupts fast and it has something amazing and that is called torque this engine at only 2000 rpms you put your foot down just a little bit and it wants to go now the flat plane crankshaft that's going to come out on the co6 that engine you gotta build the power it's like similar to the gt350 you don't have a lot of grunt down low but on those upper rpms it comes on top so different driving experience i'm not saying that this one is better obviously not but for daily drive use i believe that this engine is in fact better than the new engine or the new silk 6 i will have to drive it but trust me what i'm telling you now the sound is different so another thing that I love about this car is the launch control. So in order to engage launch control, it's very simple. You go drive, you press this button twice, and then you just... And just like that, you are off. That allows you to do 0 to 60 in around 2.8 to 3 seconds, and it feels amazing first gear on this car is extremely low and with that electronic uh, limited slip differential on the back with all the computer and technologies that it has on the back oh my god it knows how to put the power down and it puts the power anywhere so you heard that correctly you could pretty much launch this thing anywhere and it always launches and because of that limited slip differential it just goes forward and it pretty much just takes off so this is gonna wrap up uh, this video uh, it was obviously a, a three-day review and you know a little bit of a vlog vacation just want to take this opportunity to, um, to you know, review this car and give my honest thoughts because I had reviewed this car about a year ago but I only spent with this car maybe you know an hour and I just couldn't uh, put my thoughts together and I don't know how Chevy is doing it for the price that they're doing it because this is literally a supercar, a reliable supercar that you know can compete with uh, a lot of cars so I just think that uh, these cars are a bargain if you could find them for the for the right if you could buy them for the right price I must say and uh, I just I just really like what Chevy has done here uh, it's man what a time to be alive man I just think that is it's just phenomenal and uh, I just want to thank you guys for for watching and uh, I appreciate they appreciate if you guys consider subscribing and uh, hopefully you know more vlogs and more you know interesting videos could come out of this and uh, my camera is dying it's giving me a huge warning and all that so I appreciate it thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the